Good afternoon, folks. Taylor Roca here. I'm the director of communications for the Western Hockey League. We're doing something a little bit different for you today. I have with me a brand new box of Upper Deck 2019-20 CHL hockey cards. We're gonna unbox these puppies, see what we find. Um, I'm really excited about this. When I was a kid, I was a hockey card collector. I've kind of gotten out of it a little bit uh, as I've grown up. So, um, you know, when Upper Deck reached out to us and they wanted us to to help show these these things off this year, um, I was kind of excited. It kind of it's taken me back to being a kid a little bit here. So, um, I guess some details on these before we break the plastic. Um, this is the 2019-20 CHL Hockey Upper Deck Series. Uh, one box has 12 packs, 16 cards in each pack. So you've got um, a nice deep set in one of these boxes. And um, as you see, you should find on average one autographed card per box, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm kind of crossing my fingers. I'm going to find a Western Hockey League autograph in here, but I don't really know what I'm going to find. Um, we've got Quentin Byfield of the OHL Sudbury Wolves on the front cover. Um, in particular, Upper Deck says that uh, we've got some Quentin Byfield and some Alexi Lafreniere autograph cards that are mixed into this. So, I mean, maybe not my particular box, but you might have a chance to find one of those. So, um, you know, if you do pick up one of these, you can look forward to that. Alexi Lafreniere, obviously, one of the top prospects heading into the 2020 NHL draft. So, um, that's really about it. There's a 400, it's a 400 card set. Um, there are 100 star and star rookie short print cards. So we'll see if we find any of those in here. Um, obviously I'm with the Western Hockey League. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the Western Hockey League cards that we find within these packs. But, um, you know, certainly look out for the entire CHL set out there. I think that's really all I got. The only other thing we'll do for you, we've got a list of online outlets where you can um, reach out to, find online stores to get yourself a box of these. Card collectors, if you haven't already done it, you're gonna wanna do it. So uh, we will include the link for all of those locations, either in the copy below at whl.ca, or if you're watching this on YouTube, it'll be in the description. So just check out below the video, and uh, you can get your you can get your hands on some Upper Deck 2019-20 CHL hockey cards. It's enough rambling for me. Let's break into this. This is I this is kind of like, I mean, considering where we're at in society with a pandemic this is sort of like a christmas in may i suppose for me this is kind of fun um all right shrink wraps off here you see it quentin byfield upper deck chl hockey 2019-20 Woo. as they all fall out of the box they just can't wait all right let's check out Let's check out pack number one. So again, 16 cards per pack. There are 12 of these within this box. So let's start with the first one, see what we come up with. Like I said, I'm really crossing my fingers for, uh, for our star Western Hockey League players. I know I'm gonna have to settle for some Ontario Hockey League and Quebec Major Junior Hockey League cards, but that's okay, they're our friends. Oh, all right. You like you know the smell of like opening a fresh set of cards. There, like, there's something about it that's just like it kind of you know makes your spine tingle a little bit. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. But the smell of opening a fresh pack of hockey cards is something else. Um, all right. I'm gonna just like quietly set aside the Quebec and the Ontario cards 
Not that I don't care about them, but like, we're just not going to talk about them today. Hey, here we go. Leif Matson of the Spokane Chiefs as photographed with the Kelowna Rockets. Leif Matson. Um, what does it tell us here? Oh, see, there's, there's the asterisks on the back. He's been traded to the Spokane Chiefs. But um, so we've got our first Western Hockey League card, Leif Matson, Spokane Chiefs. A lot of, oh, hey, here we go. Bringing it back to Alberta, the Central Division. Brian Lochner of the Medicine Hat Tigers. Look at that, that's a great shot there. I love these Tigers uniforms, by the way. Like, they haven't changed a whole lot over the years. They've, you know, had a couple eras where they've maybe done some different things with their logo, but like, this is one of the most classic logos in the Western Hockey League. One of the most classic looks ever. Love the Medicine Hat Tigers look. Brian Lochner, card number 174. Oh, here we go. Here's, this is a good one, folks. Jack Finley, a second Spokane Chief. Jack Finley, Spokane Chiefs. Uh, he is a highly touted prospect for the 2020 NHL draft. Um, his dad, Jeff Finley, played in the NHL. So this is definitely a cool card. Um, looking forward to hearing his name called whenever the NHL draft, draft decides to happen. Um, but Jack Finley, Spokane Chiefs, card number 272. There you can see the back. Nice little, uh, you know, little capsule summarizing who Jack Finley is. He provides the Chiefs with a lot of size, according to Upper Deck. When you're six foot five, I think you do provide a lot of size. Jack Finley. All right, what else do we have? Here we go. One more, one more Western Hockey League card out of this first pack. Brett Davis. Another player who got traded at the trade deadline. Brett Davis of the Lethbridge Hurricanes. He was a veteran player this year. Um, originally, he started his Western Hockey League career with the Lethbridge Hurricanes, got moved to Kootenai, and uh, played there for a short period of time before being moved on to Red Deer. Red Deer moved him back to Lethbridge at the WHL trade deadline this past year. So um, he was a draft pick of the Dallas Stars once upon a time, Brett Davis. Veteran player had a, had a strong impact for the Hurricanes down the stretch here before our season got waylaid, we'll say. So, Brett Davis, there we go. Good start for the Western Hockey League in our um, Upper Deck CHL Hockey unboxing. That's one pack. Pack number two. All right, pack number two is cracked. Let's see what we have here. I already see some Western Hockey League players. Who do we have? Who do we have? Okay, there's a lot of Q and O on the top. <laughs> there we go, all right. Oh, nice, they use this classic logo too. Ethan Renier, Everett Silvertips. He, another guy who was traded, obviously was with the Swift Current Broncos. Um, was traded along with Casper Pudio, who is a 2020 NHL draft prospect. They went to Everett uh, just prior to the trade deadline this year. Renier won a WHL championship with the Broncos a few years back in 2018. Uh, was a captain of the Broncos. Very, very um, well respected for the leadership he brings to his clubs. Um, now this is interesting. Upper Deck used an old Everett logo, which personally, I love this logo. So you see here, this, uh, I'm trying not to get the light shining too much on this. This classic E, like I loved whenever it rolled this out for their anniversary um, back in 2018 actually. They had this classic set of like throwback inspired uniforms with this E and sort of like that cream type um, look to it. I love that. I know some people didn't. Uh, people really love like the classic bear of the Everett Silver Tips, but I'm a big fan of this logo. So Ethan Renier, card number 123, Everett Silver Tips, another good WHL find. Oh, here we go. Max Patterson, look at that. Seattle Thunderbirds, Max Patterson. I know Max Patterson going way back. I remember when he was 16, um, stepped in, played with the Kootenai Ice. I was, I was a reporter down in Cranbrook at the time. So Max Patterson, good kid. His dad, Ed Patterson, WHL alumni. He played for the Swift Current Broncos. 
Um, so Max Patterson, card number 151. That's a good shot. I always love the photography, like Upper Deck, um, you know, they obviously, they do their homework, they reach out, they find the best of the best photographers um, in any given region. So um, I always, that's my favorite part about like, checking out these trading cards is just to see like the photos that they use. Here we go, this is a good one. Oh, we got a couple good ones coming up here. So this is one out of the Star series, or the, the, the Star cards, I suppose. Dylan Cousins, Lethbridge Hurricanes, finalist for the WHL Player of the Year. Uh, he finished runner up this year, not taking anything away from him. Dylan Cousins had an outstanding season. He's a prospect of the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, was selected in the NHL draft last summer, 2019. So, uh, nice shot of Dylan Cousins there. And they even talk about our trophy, the Jim Piggott Memorial Trophy, WHL Rookie of the Year. That was a couple seasons ago, but Dylan Cousins, card number 302. Here's a cool one. This is different. Draft ready. Connor McLennan, Winnipeg Ice. How about that? That's a little bit different. You compare these these two cards nice little graphic element to this card do the sort of cutout thing there um connor mclennan another highly touted prospect for the 2020 nhl draft uh dealt with injuries a little bit this past year otherwise i think he'd probably be ranked a little bit higher but highly skilled speedy forward shifty i like using that word speedy and shifty connor mclennan winnipeg ice so that's a cool card Boston Belois of the Moose Jaw Warriors, another guy who moved just prior to the trade deadline. Um, he was he started the season with the Prince Albert Raiders, as you can see from the imagery, but um, stepped into a Moose Jaw squad that um, was going through a youth movement towards the end of the season, and so he provided a little bit of veteran leadership from the crease on out. So Boston Belois, card number two ninety in the uh, the Upper Deck CHL Hockey 2019-20 set. What else do we have? Oh yeah, one more Western Hockey League card to finish out pack number two. This guy had a great rookie season last year. Uh, split time this past season with uh, another netminder, Jack McNaughton of the Calgary Hitman. I love these Hitman logos, by the way. Um, like I, I think the Hitman logo is one of the sharpest in the Western Hockey League. I'm, I'm a big fan of it. I, I like what they've done over the years and like the colors have kind of changed and the inspiration has changed a little bit, but like, I don't know, there's something about it. And I grew up in Calgary, so maybe I just have a certain nostalgia for this logo, but um, Jack McNaughton, card number 246. There you have it. All right, two packs down, 10 to go. What do we have next? Hey, here we go. This is a good one. Kelowna Rockets defenseman Caden Korzak. Prospect of the Vegas Golden Knights. He was selected in the second round of the 2019 NHL draft. Uh, big defenseman, two-way defenseman from Yorkton, Saskatchewan. Caden Korzak, card number 44 within the CHL upper deck set. Hey, we're going back to Winnipeg. This guy just signed an American League deal with the Manitoba Moose. Isaac Johnson had an outstanding season coming back to the Western Hockey League. Um, he started with the Tri-City Americans, moved to Winnipeg, product of Minnesota. Card number 161, Isaac Johnson. It's another, uh, another good shot. Looks like they were in Saskatoon. You can see the Blades jersey in the back there. Um, what else do we have? Hey, we're staying in Manitoba. Cole Reinhardt, Brandon Wheat Kings. How about that? I again, like that's a that's a pretty cool shot. Um, Cole Reinhardt, Brandon Wheat Kings. He had another great year. Um, card number, what does it say? Card number one twelve. There you go. See, so you can see the back of the card. Maybe I haven't shown that off all that well. Your CHL logo, your upper deck logo down here, your set number. Um, like I said, little capsule description of your player, some stats. There you go, Cole Reinhardt, Brandon Wheat Kings. Also, I really love these, these Wheat Kings jerseys. I'm probably gonna get repetitive. I'm a Jersey fan. You're probably gonna hear me say like, oh, I love these jerseys. Because I just generally love most jerseys. Sweet, we got another draft ready. This, 
This is a guy who I think a lot of people were looking forward to watching this year and they didn't get the chance to do it because he battled injuries. Uh, Damon Hunt, Moose Jaw Warriors. Um, this guy, is proje he's projected to go in the first round of the NHL draft. Um, certainly as far as I'm concerned, I know NHL Central Scouting has him ranked right up there uh, among North American skaters. So we'll cross our fingers and hope Damon Hunt's name is called early, but um, he's featured on this upper deck draft ready card, which is pretty cool. The backs of these are a little bit different. No, uh, no stats on the back, but you get a little capsule, a little summary. Oh, Damon Hunt talking about the inspiration from Jet Wu and Josh Brook, a couple high profile NHL prospects. Jet Wu with the Vancouver Canucks. Josh Brook with the Montreal Canadiens. Um, yeah, so that's kind of cool. I, I like these cards. I like the cutout sort of element with the player photo popping off the card like that. That's cool. Here we go. Dylan Garand of the Kamloops Blazers. How's that? I love those Blazers jerseys. What did I tell you? I'm going to love love on the jerseys all the time, but I I love the colors of the Kamloops uh, set up here. So Dylan Garand, card number 281. He had an outstanding year. He was the WHL Scholastic Player of the Year. So uh, getting it done on the ice, career numbers across the board. Blazers win the BC Division title, and he gets it done in the classroom as well. Always good to be a very well-rounded individual. Got another Calgary with a Calgary card here. Luke Prokop, Calgary Hitman. Another high profile player for the upcoming NHL draft. Uh, he played at the Kubota CHL NHL Top Prospects game in Hamilton back in January. Um, big defenseman, two-way presence, big shot. Um, you'd certainly expect to hear his name called at the NHL draft this summer. Um, plays with his brother, Josh. Older brother, Josh, is a forward. He also plays with the Hitmen. Another defenseman. We get a lot of defensemen. I feel like the Western Hockey League is pretty well known for producing big name defensemen. Shea Weber, Duncan Keith, Brent Seabrook. Like, defenseman factory out here. I guess especially if you're looking at Kelowna. But uh, Rhett Reinhardt, Saskatoon Blades. He got dealt towards the trade deadline. It was obviously, as you can see, with the Prince George Cougars. Uh, but Rhett Reinhardt. Lloyd Minster product, Saskatoon Blades, card number 295. That's it for pack number three. Oh, hey, we got another Connor McLennan. This is not a draft ready card, though. This is just like your standard run of the mill series card. So, another Connor McLennan. That's kind of cool. Different photo, which is nice. Good to have multiple photos. You're gonna have multiple cards. Oh, here we go. Martin Lang, import player, Moose Jaw Warriors. Started the year with the Kamloops Blazers. That's kind of cool. Who do we have next? Here we go. Here's a star rookie card. Star rookie might be an understatement. Dylan Gunther, Edmonton Oil Kings, point per game producer, uh, finished second in WHL Rookie Scoring this past season, was named WHL Rookie of the Year um, as we did our awards rollout over the course of May. He's from Edmonton, he plays for Edmonton, he's not eligible for the NHL draft until 2021, but you're going to want to know his name for that draft because... I am pretty convinced this guy's gonna be a first round pick in the NHL draft come 2021. So Dylan Gunther, star rookie, card number 392. What else do we have here? Oh, here we go. This, <laughs> this name always trips everybody up and I think I've got it down, but by saying that, I'm also probably gonna trip myself up. Aiden Delagorjandier. If Les Lazarick watches this at any point, he can tell me whether or not I got that right. Um, Les Lazarick's the play-by-play -play voice for the Saskatoon Blades. Long time WHL veteran play-by-play -play guy. Aiden Del Delagorjandier, he is also a prospect for the 2020 NHL Draft, ranked by NHL Central Scouting. 
card number 227. He's out of British Columbia. I remember watching this kid when he was 15, play at the WHL Cup. Uh, was a big impact defenseman for Team BC at that tournament. So folks, this year, again, when we get to the 2020 NHL Draft, you can watch for Aiden Delagor jean -Dier. And that, ooh, that pack was a little bit slim on Western Hockey League players. <laughs> All right, we're moving along. Pack number five. Hey, hey, ho, let's go. It's Kyle Krinkovic, another Saskatoon blade. Staying on brand or staying on blade. We had Aiden Delagor jean last time. He was card number 227. Krinkovic, card number 28, an early one in the set. I don't know if it's alphabetical or not. That wouldn't make sense because D, Delagor jean not come at 227, so uh, I actually don't know how they number their cards. Kyle Krinkovic, another Saskatoon Blade from the set. Here we go, we're going south of the border. Edge Lambert, Tri-City Americans. Card number 32. See, that will also prove L after C, 28, 32. No, clearly it's not alphabetical. Who else do we have? Here we go. A former Tri-City American, now a member of the Vancouver Giants, Caden Cole. Caden Cole, card number 155. Import forward. Prospect of the Calgary Flames, Milos Roman. This guy knows how to score goals, I'll tell you that. He's got a great release. Um, Calgary Flames fans can hopefully look forward to seeing him one day. He was a big part of the Giants team that went to Game 7 of the WHL Championship in 2019. Nice little Milos Roman card. Here we go. This guy, this guy could be another... I don't want to say I hesitate to use the word home run because it's a pretty big, um, it's a pretty big word to use, but Wyatt Wiley. Philadelphia Flyers have got another good one. They got a goalie by the name of Carter Hart. He came from Everett. Wyatt Wiley. Interesting thing about Wyatt Wiley, he's one of the first ever Everett minor hockey produced players to suit up for the Silver Tips um, and then be selected in the NHL draft. So uh, Everett, <laughs> Everett's doing a good job. Um, as they always do, but uh, Wyatt Wiley, the first Everett-born player um, to be selected in the NHL draft, which is pretty cool. Again, I love that E, I love that. I'm gonna get a lot of bad responses from people for saying that, I think, but um, I'm a big fan of that E. Wyatt Wiley, Philadelphia Flyers prospect, another cool card out of the set here. What else do we have? Hey, we're staying, we're staying in the Pacific Northwest. Andre Kakucha, Seattle Thunderbirds. Another sharp, like one of the sharpest sets of uniforms in the Western Hockey League. Seattle Thunderbirds, I think. I really like their colors. I'm a blue fan. I generally like blue, so that's probably part of the part of the draw for me. But Andre Kakucha, card number 275. Here we go. This here's a veteran netminder who was uh, part of a big trade prior to the WHL trade deadline. Beck Warm went from the Tri City Americans to the Edmonton Oil Kings. Uh, he was going to be a big piece in their in their run. Unfortunately, season was cut short. But uh, he has a twin brother, Will Warm, defenseman, played for the Victoria Royals this past season. Uh, those boys are from Whistler. Beck Warm, card number two ninety two. Brings us to the end of another pack. Pack six, halfway. What do we got? Another Brandon Wheat King. Look out, Luca Burzan, prospect of the Colorado Avalanche. He went in the 2019 NHL draft. Luca Burzan. I'm also running out of desk space. There's like, I got a lot of cards here and not a lot of space. I'm still, I haven't found an autographed card yet, by the way. I'm still waiting for that. We're halfway through, so I'm hoping it's coming soon. Um, Tri-City Americans, Sasha Metalla. 
another prospect of the Colorado Avalanche. It's nice how things kind of like string themselves together from time to time. Another product of the Lower Mainland. Luca Burzan's from Surrey, I believe. Yep, that's what his upper deck card says. Sash Metalla, also from Vancouver. Both are prospects of the Colorado Avalanche. I really, I'm, I'm, it's interesting recording this and just, it just being me. I'm really looking forward to our video team putting a bunch of highlights over this so it's not just me talking. Lethbridge Hurricanes, Logan Barlogi. He was a big part of the trade that, or a trade that the Swift Current Broncos made when they loaded up to go on that championship run back in 2018. Um, you know, he's, he's played a few seasons in the league now, but at that time he was, I believe he was in his rookie season that year. Big body, six foot five, like 200 plus pounds, um, power forward type. And like, he's, um, he's starting to find the back of the net. So, um, former, yeah, fourth overall pick in the WHL Bantam draft. I always forget that, but Logan Barlogi, Lethbridge Hurricanes, card number 184. Again, the Lethbridge, like their branding, their uniform set, they have that dark blue uniform that they've rolled out as an alternate. Love it. What else? Oh, oh. Mm. I mean, I'm gonna show this because I have to. It's not a Western Hockey League player, but I have my first autographed card. Graham Clark of the Ottawa 67. So here you go. So that's what these autographed cards look like. Let's see, yeah, let's get no reflection there, but um, that's pretty sharp, that's cool. That is cool. Look at that, there's even a nice little note on the back. It says, congratulations, enjoy your autographed card. I will, Upper Deck, thank you. I will enjoy this autographed card. I'm also crossing my fingers and hoping that you're gonna have stashed a Western Hockey League autographed card in here for me. All right, hey, another guy that we saw at the Kubota CHL NHL Top Prospects game in January, Brock Gold. He's a member of the Moose Jaw Warriors, also a prospect for the upcoming 2020 NHL draft. NHL Central Scouting has his has him ranked among North American goaltenders, so check out Brock Gold, another sharp-looking card. We've got another Lethbridge Hurricane, Danila Polivko, import, import player. Six foot five, 200 pounds. Man, like every Lethbridge card that I've looked at, I think says six foot five, 200 pounds. Peter Anholt building a big roster, literally a big roster. Um, all right, let's move along. That's, hey, that's it. That's it for Western Hockey League players in that pack. Here we go. Here's another, here's another big prospect to know for the 2020 NHL draft. Ozzy Weisblatt, Prince Albert Raiders, WHL champion in 2019. Um, this kid can score, this kid can hit, this kid gets it done at the defensive end of the rink. He does it all. He's projected to go in the first round of the 2020 NHL draft. Played at the CHL NHL Top Prospects game, the Kubota CHL NHL Top Prospects game in Hamilton this past year as well. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. I think I've said that a few times, hey? Dustin Wolf, Everett Silvertips, WHL Goaltender of the Year. Fun fact, four of the last five WHL Goaltenders of the Year, they played for the Everett Silvertips. The other, Carter Hart, he did it three times. The guy who broke it up was a former member of the Prince Albert Raiders, Ian Scott, Toronto Maple Leafs prospect. Jackson Leopard, Winnipeg Ice. They picked him up from the Prince George Cougars earlier this year. That was uh, a good addition for them. I think he had a good impact down the stretch. Winnipeg had a really good year. Um, again, like tough to see the season cut short because I think a playoff run in Winnipeg would have been a lot of fun. Uh, what do we have next? Hey, here we go. Another one of these scout. I don't know if I've shown one of these yet. Scouting report. This is a little bit different. So there was like draft, there's those draft cards. Now there's these scouting report cards. Logan Stankoven, Kamloops Blazers. 
We talked about Dylan Gunther. He was the WHL Rookie of the Year. Logan Stankoven had an excellent season. Uh, he finished as the runner-up in the WHL Rookie of the Year race. Uh, Kamloops product playing for his hometown Blazers, uh, I believe, and I'll maybe leave it to John Keane to correct me if I'm wrong. He's the play-by-play -play voice in Kamloops. Uh, I believe Logan Stankoven set a Blazers franchise rookie record with 29 goals this past year. 29 goals as a 16-year-old? Are you kidding me? That's pretty impressive stuff. Again, Logan Stankoven, 2021 NHL draft. So, like, lock that Lock that name down. You're going to want to know it in a couple years here. One more Western League card from this pack. Tyrell Bauer. He's from Cochrane, Alberta. Seattle Thunderbirds defenseman. 2020 NHL draft. I know the Thunderbirds really love Tyrell Bauer. Moving right along. I've got just like stacks and stacks of cards here. Hey, another Brandon Wheat King. Ridley Gregg. This guy's also ranked to go early in the NHL draft in 2020. Um, he had himself a solid season. He also played at the Kubota CHL NHL Top Prospects game in January. Ben King, Red Deer Rebels. As you can see, formerly of the Swift Current Broncos. Card number 52. Um, ben King is also ranked headed into the 2020 NHL draft. Big product of Vernon, BC. I understand he's a country music fan. We did another series at whl.ca. It was called WHL Playlist. Check it out if you haven't. Ben King talked about being a big country music fan. Nolan Meyer, Saskatoon Blade. Speak hey, I love this guy's mask. Can we talk about the artwork? I don't know if you'll be able to see it. You can kind of, uh, maybe not, because I think a lot of like the really key pieces of it are on the sides. But, um, you know, obviously that, and this is a good jersey for them to have him in on this card, but uh, there's a certain Pac-Man inspiration and like the blades really lean into it and I love it. Um, the colors are great, the yellow and the blue with the uniforms, but Nolan Meyer actually has a Pac-Man Pac themed mask. Um, and I know the blades did a Pac-Man video game themed jersey this past year, um, which they au auctioned off for charity, which is great. So. Uh, nice little Nolan Meyer card there, card number 102. We've, got some, we've had some good blades in, uh, in these packs here, which is sweet. Here we go. Another Tri-City American for the books. Christoph Rabik. He's got an AHL contract with the San Jose Barracuda, which, fantastic name. Uh, love the San Jose Barracuda. Card number 128, Christoph Rabik. Another high impact import forward to come through Tri-City. Kamloops Blazers, bringing it home one more time. Brody Stewart, card number 158. Brody Stewart, Kamloops Blazers. Take those all day. I'm still waiting for that WHL autograph card. Come on, Upper Deck, where are you? Help me out. Carson Denemy. Regina Pats. He moved down the road from Moose Jaw to Regina earlier this year. Former Kamloops Blazer as well. All right. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, this is, here we go. Here's a new team. We haven't had these guys represented yet. Portland Winterhawks, Robbie from Delorme. Card number 105. Hey, these are these are these cool cards that I really like. The draft ready cards. Braden Snyder. Brandon Wee Kings. This guy is also ranked to go in the first round of the NHL draft. I would argue he's probably one of, I, I mean, I know there's some very high-end defensive prospects out of Ontario. Um, but uh, you know, you have Caden Gooley coming out of Prince Albert. You have Braden Snyder, who is from Prince Albert, playing for Brandon. Those are two of the top defensive prospects coming out of the Western Hockey League for this upcoming NHL draft. So nice little Braden Snyder card there. Staying with Portland. This guy's already drafted. He's a prospect of the New York Islanders, Reese Newkirk. Guy scored some highlight reel goals this past year, I'll tell you that. 
smaller forward, not, not, not like tiny, but smaller forward, sub six foot, fast, quick release, shifty. I believe I said I like to use the word shifty. So mix that in there. It's the end of that pack. We're getting down to the bottom of the box here. We got three left. We're humming, we're humming. I might need to do another one of these. I might need to call up our deck and be like, hey, we had fun. I hope you guys are having fun. I hope you are gonna get your own box of upper deck CHL hockey cards and you're gonna do the same thing. And you're gonna share it with us. I'm not telling you to do it, but I just, I hope you do because I will watch these. We're in like social isolation. I'm running out of things to watch. So if you wanna do card unboxings, you want to talk about your favorite Western Hockey League cards out of the CHL hockey set? I will watch. So if that means anything to you, let's get it done. I'm still wait. I'm still waiting for that elusive WHL autograph card. This is not it, but this is another cool one. Riley Stotts, prospect of the Toronto Maple Leafs. He had a great year with the Calgary Hitmen. Big piece of that roster. Again, disappointed we didn't get to see what they might do in the playoffs, but Maple Leafs fans can be excited about Riley Stotts. Heading up the highway, up the QE2 from Calgary to Red Deer, Ethan Anders. The old Southpaw, you don't see many of those anymore. I know you never really saw a lot of them, but I feel like you see even less these days. He catches with his right hand. That's rare, I'll tell you that much. Card number 157, Ethan Anders. Another Spokane Chief for the book, Eli Zumak. He was a big part of that Chiefs team. They were on a roll at the end of the season. I've said this like, I don't know how many times in the past few weeks here, but like 10 straight wins to end the regular season. They were charging up the standings. They still only finished third in the US division because that's just how good the US division was this past year. Portland finished the top, Everett second, and like Spokane was hot on the heels. Um, like those US division, teams come playoff time i mean it we really missed out we missed out it was going to be really exciting um i'm trying not to dwell on that too much but it's tough not to talk about here we go thank you upper deck coming through for me in the crunch kyle topping Kelowna rockets autograph card that's two autographs in this box once from the ohl we're, we're okay with that but like here we go this is a winner. Kyle Topping, Kelowna Rockets. Look at that. That's kind of sharp. I like the way they do that. Uh, the blue Sharpie makes it pop, makes the autograph pop off the card quite nicely. Salt Spring Island, BC. I've never been. I've always wanted to go. I love the coffee. Salt Spring Island coffee. I don't, I'll just throw that in there. I get, I buy it all the time. It's great stuff. Kyle Topping autograph card, Kelowna Rockets. That's a cool one. Got another Lethbridge Hurricane here, Noah Boyko. He's also 2020 NHL draft eligible, ranked by Central Scouting. Card number 279. Kamloops Blazers, Josh Piller. Another first round pick in the WHL Bantam draft. It's from Warm in Saskatchewan. Card number 208. Again, love that classic Blazers logo. Super sharp. That's the end of this pack. As I mentioned off the top, there is a 400 card base set. I think there's gonna be, I don't know if you call them expansions or like secondary sets. I think Upper Deck has some other stuff coming on the CHL front, which is super exciting. So maybe we'll get the chance to do this one more time a little bit later in the summer or spring. Um, but yeah, 400 card base set. Pick up a box when you get the chance. Like I said off the top, we'll put the URLs in the copy below, in the description on YouTube. Um, so we'll make it as easy as possible for you to track down some of these. Um, again, if you're a hockey card collector, you're gonna wanna get your hands on these. Really, I don't think it matters if you're an NHL card collector or a CHL card collector. If you're a CHL card collector, you obviously want these. If you're an NHL card collector, and you haven't looked at the CHL sets, you should. Because look, I got two guys over my shoulders here. They both came through the Western Hockey League. They both came through the CHL. 
Matthew Barzell is already a star in the NHL today. Michael Rasmussen is going to be a star with the Detroit Red Wings whenever we get back to playing hockey. So like these guys, you can get their cards or guys like this. You get their cards when they're playing junior and all of a sudden they're an NHL star. I think that's cool. Like let's see them every step along the way. That's part of why I love watching junior hockey. Here we go. This is a cool one. First round pick of the Anaheim Ducks at the 2019 NHL draft, Braden Tracy now of the Victoria Royals, began his career with the Moose Jaw Warriors. He was a WHL Rookie of the Year once upon a time. Goal score, pure goal score, guys electric. Braden Tracy. Carson Folk, Calgary Hitman. I like the way they've cut out or isolated the helmet, the mask from the Hitman logo and put that as like the primary crest on the front. I think that's super cool. Another Kelowna Rocket here, Liam Kendry, card number 143. Bryce Kindop, this guy was an overager this past year, captain of the Silver Tips, signed an entry-level contract with the Anaheim Ducks towards the end of the season. He had a great year, he's from Lloyd Minster, Alberta. A lot of great players coming out of the Lloyd area. Ty Smith, who you might know, two-time WHL Defenseman of the Year. He's originally from Lloyd Minster. Hey, this guy's from not far from Lloyd Minster. Zane Franklin, another, another kid who had an outstanding season as an overage player. He's from Marwayne, Alberta, which is pretty close to Lloyd Minster, if you don't know. Kamloops Blazer, Zane Franklin. You want to talk about a guy who can do it all. This guy played with grit, and he was an absolute nightmare in the offensive end of the ring for teams this past season. Almost done. This is set. Oh, hey, here we go. This is cool. This we haven't had one of these. We've had a Logan Stankoven card, but we have not had a CHL class. Look at that. That's a sharp looking card. If I've ever seen one. Upper deck prospect CHL class. First one of those we've seen. That's pretty cool. Logan Stankoven. Again, like I said absolutely shredded it as a rookie in the BC division this past year. Um, guy was practically unstoppable as a 16 year old. Can't wait to see what he's gonna do come 17, 18. I mean, you wanna talk about a team that's really on the rise. Blazers won the BC division this past year for the first time since 2012. With a guy like Logan Stankoven, the driving force behind the offense, that is a team to watch for in the coming years. They are not going to be a lot of fun for the rest of the BC division to deal with. Taryn Pfizer, Victoria Royals. Card number 214. And that's it for this pack. Folks, we're down to our last pack. Okay, last pack, here we go. Hopefully, crossing our fingers, we're gonna finish strong. Maybe there's a third autograph card in here somewhere, and maybe it's a Western Hockey League one. Here we go. All right, we're getting into the Western Hockey League player. Josh Williams, Edmonton Oil Kings. Another guy who's ranked for the NHL draft this summer. Uh, started his career with Medicine Hat, battled injuries a little bit. I think that's probably slowed him down. Um, but great player, great kid, Josh Williams, Edmonton Oil Kings, card number eight. I think that's the first card I've pulled that's like top 10 within the set. So that's kind of cool. Johnny Ludwig, product of Kamloops, BC. Big piece of the Portland Winterhawks this past year. He's a prospect of the Florida Panthers. All right, we're getting down to the end here, folks. Try not to shed a tear when this is all over. Oh geez, we're on a real, real run of non-WHL cards. Oh, are we gonna, we're gonna. Okay, here we go. All right, we'll finish with a bang, this is good. Tristan Nielsen, Vancouver Giants. This guy broke out this past year. He had an incredible season with the Giants was a big piece of that team's offense. Card number 256. He was originally drafted by the Calgary Hitmen in the WHL Bantam draft. 
but has, has really like made a home for himself in Vancouver. He's from Fort St. John, BC, so back in his home province. Um, went to game seven of the WHL championship with that giant squad back in 2019 again. So um, Tristan Nielsen, another nice card there. One last one to finish her off. Take her back to old Sasky. Isaac Poulter of the Swift Current Broncos. This guy saw a lot of rubber this past year. He's from Winnipeg. Card number 206. Isaac Poulter. I, I, I love these Broncos. These Broncos jerseys, they're sharp. We'll work that in one more time. I love these jerseys. The, um, you see on the, uh, the right shoulder, the, uh, the four Broncos Memorial Clover. Um, that obviously is, uh, that's been a mainstay on the Broncos jerseys for a long time now. Um, you know, obviously in remembrance of the players who passed away um, in that tragic bus, cr bus crash in 1986. So big part of the, the Broncos uniforms there. But Isaac Poulter is a big part of the Broncos today. He's their starting goaltender during the 2019-20 season. And um, yeah, he's the last card we pull from our box of upper deck CHL hockey cards for 2019-20. Like I said off the top, we've got URLs below. Head out, do yourself a favor if you're a card collector, pick up a box of these, and like I said, share with us on social media your reaction. I'd love to see it. I know Upper Deck would love to see it. Huge thank you to Upper Deck for providing us with a box of these beauties to open for you today. Really appreciate that. And uh, you know, to everybody else out there who watched, appreciate you taking the time. Stay safe, stay healthy, and you know, hopefully one day we're back in a hockey rink watching our favorite CHL players one day soon. Take care, we'll talk to you later.